So you're feeling frustrated with with your money, uh, your finances. Uh, you, you just don't have enough money to do what you would like to do. Uh, or whether you're, you're struggling, you're really having a hard time financially and you just can't seem to make ends meet. Or it's just, you just would like a better picture. You know, the picture you're in now, you're okay, you can pay your bills, but you'd like it to be better. The answer to that is rooted in biblical principles, just like a lot of, a lot of uh, financial issues. Uh, and if you've been going through this series uh, on the playlist, uh, again, go to the playlist, uh, financial, biblical financial tips, and you'll see the other things that we looked at. But... Why is it that I'm in this place? One of the reasons why, or what, one of the obstacles to us being in the financial state we want to be in is income. And we talked about that in the last video. If you missed it, you can watch it. Uh, income. I don't have enough money coming in, and that's why I can't pay my bills, or that's why uh, I'm not able to do what I would like to do. The second issue is expenses, what we're spending money on. Uh, so it's either an income or an expense issue when you're having an obstacle to your financial picture. You need to work on discerning which one it is. Sometimes it's both. You know, I need more income and I need to spend less. But a biblical principle we want to consider is a statement that Jesus made in Luke twelve fifteen when he said, Take care and be on your guard against all covetousness for one's life does not consist in the abundance of his possessions so i want to be careful with my cravings for stuff and my cravings for stuff can cause me to spend money on stuff and that can create a lot of headaches for me so if you're in either of those places either you're just you'd like your picture to be better or you're, ha you're not able to pay your bills and you've looked at the income thing and that wasn't enough to solve it. Now you need to look at your expenses and you have to ask yourself, do I need this product? Do I need this service? So you look at your phone bill. Do I actually need the plan that I have? Do I actually need a cell phone? And you know, is there another option here? Uh, there's companies like Magic Jack and other companies that that is like fifty dollars a year uh, for a phone. You know, so do I actually need a cell phone? Do I actually need cable TV? Do I need the internet? Uh, do I need Netflix and Disney Plus and Hulu and all those other things? Uh, do I need to have a pet? Do I need the size of house that I have? Do I have to have a car? Can I not have uh, a bus pass? Uh, do I need season tickets to Kennywood? Do I need to go out to eat? And just look honestly at the things you have and ask yourself, am I craving stuff? And is that getting in the way? And start carving things out. And most on most occasions, you'll find if you've addressed the income issue, because so that's, that's definitely a concern. But if you've addressed the income issue on most occasions, there are likely things that you can cut out. It's just, are you willing to cut it out? Man's life does not consist in the abundance of possessions, services, or products. It, can it be cut out? And this will save you out of a lot of headaches and a lot of scenarios, debt, if you choose to say, I'm, I'm cutting it out. I want to make my picture better. I'm cutting it out. And I'm telling you, the more you cut out, the more you're going to start to thrive financially. And I'm telling you, too, uh, really, you'll start to find the more that you can go without, the more more things you don't actually need. And, and you'll have the peace of mind and eliminate some stresses out of your life and possibly even improve your relationships and your mental, emotional, physical health in the process. Uh, there's so many things linked to this. And we need deliverance from it. So if you have any questions about that, I'd be glad to answer your questions. Or if you have any comments or any testimonies of, of how these things are insightful for you or helping you, uh, or if you think someone else would benefit from the content of this video, uh, please you know leave comments or like the video or share it with somebody. 
uh, the more you interact with the video, the more visible it becomes. I appreciate you doing that as we try to get God's viewpoints on our money out to other people. Uh, so if you, if you like the content of this video and you want to be notified when other videos are uploaded on Facebook, just follow our page on YouTube, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification button, and you'll be notified the next time a video is available. God bless you.